hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is jackie so today's video i'm going to be doing a review slash first impression slash wear test on these two products so this is the hega and esther dual cover perfect foundation um perfect what i can't read today so this is the hega and esther dual cover photo perfect foundation matte finish um and their skin filter primer oh my god i have heard so much about these two products especially this primer so we're going to be putting it to the test today this cost <laughs> my money is just going all these products i buy <laughs> okay so the foundation cost 5600 naira and um the primer also cost 5600 naira great so this is what they both look like um this is the foundation it just comes in this squeezy um plastic thing and when you open it up it has a pump we love pumps over here so if you guys have seen my last video that i put up or the second to the last video i put up that's the zikel foundation um review it's the same packaging guys it's the same packaging wait just hold on <laughs> where is the difference what's the difference <laughs> spot the difference I'm very interested to know how this works throughout the day and to know if it's the same product just different packaging and different companies um yeah we all know about private labeling and stuff so let's not act like oh, this is so shocking because it's not um so yeah without further ado let's just jump right into the video so as usual i'm going to be prepping my skin with the zikel gold leaf um ampoule serum <laughs> I really like this thing guys it just gives my skin you know some good hydration before makeup application even sometimes i wear this on its own even when i'm not doing my makeup or anything because i just like how it makes my skin feel i really love it oh my skin feels great okay so this is what the primer looks like it says skin filter primer shine control pore blur extends makeup wear i'm just gonna put this right here so i'm going to focus mainly on my t-zone because that's where i tend to get oily so i decided to pick up this primer too because obviously i've heard so much about it like a lot of mua a lot of makeup artists <laughs> a lot of makeup artists um rave about this primer but you know how it is now i've seen some of them also do sponsored um ads with the brand so I don't know if they really like the product or they are being paid to say they like the product so anyway let's see we'll see how it goes i also heard that they they, they have the same foundation in this packaging um but they're phasing that out i think that's what i heard anyway because i saw the foundation into packaging i was really curious so i asked the um lady in the store that was helping me get shade matched also guys what's this thing about people not knowing how to shade match you properly when you go into the store it's highly frustrating because best believe if i wasn't a makeup artist and had experience with shade matching i would be coming home with the wrong shade every single time they always want to go lighter it's never the right shade on you it's really annoying because i mean you're spending money to buy this thing so uh, anyway brands just they should do better they should put people with better experience you know on their counters because th th it's just highly unacceptable and it's not like you can return the foundation i don't think they have um a return policy here in nigeria <laughs> that even sounds funny like saying it out loud you know sometimes when i see all these american gurus or you know beauty gurus abroad when they say i want i brought this product home and it wasn't my shade so i took it back i'm like huh where <laughs> like girl stop okay so i picked this foundation up in the shade coco it has a little sticker here that you can just you can easily get peeled off um the shade coco so let's go <gasps> Empire just took light i need to film this video welcome back from <laughs> the breaking transmission the perks of being a YouTuber in Nigeria. Anyway, part just got restored, so we move. That's what it looks like. I think this is going to be a good color match. If you had seen the one that the lady wanted me to go home with or to come home with, it's just 
ridiculous i tell you um i'm going to be blending this in so while i do that let me read out the claims for you it says a long wearing mattifying and water resistant foundation infused with a blend of oil absorbing and skin polishing agents that prevents the foundation from settling into fine lines whilst giving your skin a matte yet velvety photo finish specially formulated to give a medium to full coverage so this is buildable um directions that foundation onto your cheeks forehead nose and chin blend foundation lightly using either fingertips sponge or a brush cool so oh okay 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 hmm Actually, it looks good if you guys want a wear test with the zika one and this one let me know in the comment section down below and i will do that like a versus video um just so we see if it's the same product or which one performs better because the heck and sr one is more expensive so anyway let's 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 go so i'm just putting a bit more on my forehead just a little bit more Hmm. Okay, let me add some more here. Guys, I use the tiniest of this foundation. Like tiniest. Again, if you're new to my channel, I love a good natural finish. I don't like caked up makeup. I'm not a full coverage girl. I mean, sometimes I do that, but... For the most part, I just love a good natural finish. So, this is the foundation on. All right. So, this is the foundation on and without. On. <laughs> without. What do you guys think? How are you guys feeling about it? Okay, so I'm just going to, and see, I used just a little. So, going into my sponge now. <laughs> So I like to use both a brush and a sponge just so you see how the product interacts with different um, tools, application tools. Just in case you're a brush person or you're a sponge person. And so far, it is applying well with both um, tools actually. So obviously a beauty blender, I need a little bit more. Um, a beauty blender would soak up some of the product and will also give you a share coverage. So you should have that in mind. All right so just going in with a bit more to match up this side all right so this is my face with a layer on okay and i think this is a good medium coverage foundation yes they said it's buildable i think it went on really really nicely it's interacting well with that primer that i put underneath it's not drying i don't feel anything on my face really it's not heavy actually it feels like skin and it looks like skin too yeah i actually like it so far so good i'm not seeing any patches anywhere and just for reference purposes i have combo skin combination skin so um, i tend to get quite oily in my t-zone um and then the sides of my face are just normal normal they're not dry but just normal yeah so that's 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 cool i'm i'm liking this so far um i'm going to be going in with my zikel second skin concealer now i did a review on this product in the Zikel foundation video so if you haven't seen that please check it out i'm going to link it in this video also and in the description bo box down below <laughs> okay so check that out i'm going to just quickly um do a bit of concealing and highlighting yeah just going to speed through this part okay nothing to see here and I really like this concealer, okay? I really, really like it. I definitely like it more than I like um, the foundation. <laughs> yeah, 
concealer is really cool so hegem esther they have a concealer too but i just wasn't bothered to pick it up i i was like well please i have a concealer that i like already so i'm just gonna keep using that that's all and it just looks so small you know like the component was so tiny i was like why is it so tiny ah no money is money is scarce these days so i have to be smart this is my face after foundation concealer powder so i'm just gonna go off camera and i'll do up my face just finish the look my patch is too light again all right guys i'm back and this is the finished look for now i still have a couple of other things to do to my face because i want to film another video but i want the time for this foundation to start running now um so yeah that's what my face is looking like i put some blusher on i put some highlighter on i did my brows and i did a little wing liner and put on a gloss so yeah the time right now is let's see and you can see that 1208 yeah the time right now is 1208 so i actually finished my makeup at around i think 11 30 so yeah the time will start counting from then 11 30. so yeah i'm just gonna wear this foundation for a couple of hours and just see how it goes let's see let's see if i'm able i'll wait for as long as i possibly can <laughs> till i get tired then i'll come back and show you guys what it's looking like and let you know my final thoughts excuse me Maria, that was so rude of me <laughs> excuse me oh my god okay so i'll be back to let you know my final thoughts and yeah see you soon <laughs> hey guys so i'm back and right now the time is eight o'clock i don't know if you can see that twenty hundred hours <laughs> yeah and this is what my face is looking like right now so i put this foundation on i finished my foundation routine at about 11 30 which would be how many hours now my brain is fried <laughs> yeah so this is about eight hours and 30 minutes wear of this hega and esther foundation and using their skin um filter primer as a primer <laughs> yeah so what do you guys think this is after eight hours and 30 minutes So again, I have combo skin. So the sides of my face are just normal. They don't get oily or anything. This is the main part where I get oily, my T-zone. So, so as usual, um, the oils are, <laughs> they're doing their thing in the middle of my face. So let me just come close so you can see. So this sides are pretty okay like they still look very nice yeah but around my nose it's starting to break up like a little bit but not really i'm just gonna dab that with my beauty blender and my cheeks too yeah so this is my face as usual it did settle into my fine lines but not really just a little bit actually i did dab um once around 2 p.m because i was filming a video and i started to get a little bit too shiny for the camera so i did dab just a little bit on my nose and that was the only place that i dabbed i didn't touch my forehead my chin my cheeks nothing just my nose <laughs> yeah Hey guys i'm so tired i had a really really long day so that's why i'm ending this video a little bit earlier um i could i could have gone till about 10 30 or 11 but i just figured this like this is this is just going to be it <laughs> i don't think there's any way to go from here um as far as this foundation is concerned so yeah 5600 naira for this and for this <laughs> So yeah what do you guys think have you used this foundation before how do you like it on my face are you going to be trying it based on what you're seeing today 
and me let me know what you think in the comment section down below i have a couple of other foundation reviews coming up that i think you will like from nigerian brands so stay tuned for that anyway please if you're not subscribed to my channel yet do make sure to hit the subscribe button and give me a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed this video all right guys thank you so much for watching and till i see you next time Mwah. bye